hi everybody hi hello so um i wanted to come on here and share some good news um and i have a story follow-up story about the airport um i think i'm still going to contact them and i they have like a general comment area you know whatever on their website um, I think I'm going to leave my thoughts. Unfortunately, I don't have the names of the employees that were at security uh, the last time versus the more recent time, but still, I think I should let them know that some employees are more uh, professional, maybe, than, than others, or courteous, I guess would be more proper word. But anyways, so yesterday, I had to go back to the airport. Um, same thing, had to meet somebody and escort them so I had to go through security all over again I debated not taking spirit with me since it was such a hassle last time but I figured it's good exposure for both me and him it's good practice and you know what this time it was so much better so 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 much better just incredibly so much better I couldn't believe how different it was they were so kind and they took their time with us and they didn't separate spirit away from me or from my family didn't separate me from my family and they told me what they're doing every step of the way and like asked if it was okay and didn't like they had me and spirit go through the magnetic whatever thing that's you know the thing you go through and it beeps and it beeped of course and they're like oh it's okay it's it's just his leash and I was able to hold on to him the whole time and the lady was like, okay, I have to check your hands now. Is that okay? And and then um, I had to pat down his vest. Is, is that okay? And just, she was so nice and we weren't brushed and it was, it was the, the exact same process. And that might've taken a teensy tiny bit longer since they weren't rushing us and they were taking time to explain everything this time instead of just you know taking separating us and taking him away and just doing it but it was so much more chill and I didn't have a reaction I didn't I didn't have a meltdown I didn't you know <laughs> we were able to just go on and and go about our business and it was oh it was so much better it was it, it was really quite a relief <laughs> so I thought I should just share um, the other bit of good news that I have to mention is um, at my clinic um, a while ago I proposed the idea of coming up with a mostly bipolar or co-occurring illnesses like you know borderline PTSD depression schizo etc support group topic space support group um, like what I had before I moved and uh, finally, my case manager was able to um, have her supervisor come, uh, sit in on our appointment. And she liked the idea. And so finally, uh, it has been passed up to someone higher than my case manager or my therapist. So now we just wait to see. Uh, not sure what the next step is. I'm not sure how much authority my case manager's super supervisor has. I don't know, um, but but we'll see. Uh, I hope it goes through. I'm really excited. For people who know me, know that I love Pictionary, and her supervisor also really loves Pictionary, and so she agreed that you know, like once a month or something, we'll have just a group time that's fun like potluck and we'll play Pictionary or something like that so she seemed really interested and excited about it and so I'm excited about it and I hope it goes through and yeah so I just wanted to mention that because it's something that I've been trying to work work towards for a long time now okay that's all I have for now and I hope you have a wonderful night and day and etc <laughs> love you bye see you in the next one